It's winter here in the Northern Hemisphere, and that means one thing, sadly. Now, we're not all made of paper, luckily, and we're not going to turn to mush, but it does mean that a few things need to be done. Now, when getting ourselves and our bikes ready, it means first thing we'd probably do is put a mudguard in. But just how effective are mudguards? Well, today we're going to find out. Mudguards have come on a long way in the last 20 odd years. Back in the day, a company called THE and Crud Catchers, at the time, they were the most popular. They would either attach on the down tube or actually in the steerer tube of the bike. Uh, but they were really popular and they gave a lot of protection. However, things have changed and there are now cheaper and more effective ways of getting rid of that mud out of your face. Marsh guards, well then they brought out the first small fender style mud guard, which is made of a really thin plastic. It was very cheap and cost effective. It didn't give the best protection, uh, but it has been copied time and time again and evolved becoming slightly bigger, uh, offering a bit more protection. Since the days of the marsh guard, well fenders have come on even more. Front mud guards are looking more like something off a CR500, where they wrap around the wheel a lot more and give a lot more protection. Obviously with that does come a weight penalty, but when you're riding in the winter, I don't think that really matters. There's all different kinds of mud guards for the rear as well then, of course. Much like the front, they come in all shapes and sizes. Uh, they can polarize opinion. Something like this is obviously a fair old size. It'll fit over the tire, attach to the frame, and really come out back, stopping that spray coming back up. But like I said, they are a bit marmite. They do polarize opinion. A front mud guard is going to protect your face from any debris and mud and crap flying up and hitting it, and it's also going to help with your vision, allowing you to see where you're going better. The rear mud guards, well, they don't really do much in the sense of performance, I don't think, but they do stop you getting as mucky and muddy and probably, I guess, in that sense, keep you more comfortable. But there's only really one way to find out. I'm willing to sacrifice my face and my cleanliness all in the name of science and we'll see just how effective mud guards are. How are we going to test how mud guards work then? Well, I've compiled this very, very, very scientific test. Uh, it's more of a visual representation, actually. Say. I've come to a miserable bit of trail, it's very wet and muddy, and I've got these. I've got multiple white suits that I'm going to wear down the track. Now, it should be pretty obvious that with more mud guards, there's going to be less mud on these things. And with no mud guards at all, well, this white suit ain't going to be white for very long. Uh, at the end, we'll take a look and, and hopefully we'll be able to clearly see by hanging them up which is the muddiest. But let's get changed and let's get test number one underway with mud guards front and rear. Okay, test number one. I feel ridiculous, but science. Nearly there. Finishes in sight. Oh, okay. Done. How do I look? I'm not quite as muddy as I was expecting on the upper body, like the arms and things like that. I did feel speckles on my face still. Um, and I was actually able to ride pretty much unimpeded without glasses. I didn't feel like I was blinking my way through or anything like that the whole time. I am obviously a bit muddy and there are splashes down around my lower legs and my feet. Obviously I haven't got like winter boots so they are a bit wet. Not as bad as I was expecting. Take two, this is front mud guard only. I've ditched the rear, let's see how we go. I've got a fresh suit, let's do it. All in the name of science, okay. Okay, here we go. Right, time for the return. Ooh, foot plant, yes. Through the mud. There we go. Ah! Oh. Okay, test number two. <laughs> With just the front mud guard on then. And I would say the damage from the front, well, as to be expected, I suppose, is pretty similar. The arms aren't too bad, body's got some speckles. Uh, but I would say pretty similar. How does the back look? How do I look, Louis? I mean, that looks like a bad morning after an even worse curry the night before. 
The front I felt sort of was on par, it was about the same, because I had the same mud guard on, maybe a few little splashes here and there, but nothing noticeably more, nothing impeding my riding again. Uh, the weight, again, actually on that one is pretty noticeable, like heavier as well. I think now we're gonna have to get rid of all the mud guards. I'm dreading this one. Oh, this is gross with no mud guards. I miss them. I think I even missed the rear one right now. Gross with no mud guards. <laughs> Unicorn power sacrifices. This is where you really notice no front mud guards. That wet mud flicking off is horrible. It doesn't taste good either. Ah, oh, gross. Well, that was pretty gross and uncomfortable. I miss my front mud guard. There was a noticeable difference not having the fronty on there. The spray, and I mean, yeah, definitely not as fun. Let's summarize then, because that was a heck of a lot of riding I've just done through a heck of a lot of pedals. And I think it doesn't take a genius to recognize that having no mud guards was by far obviously the worst in these conditions. I was plastered head to toe, front and rear. Uh, water, mud, debris, all sorts was flying up. It was uncomfortable to ride. I couldn't see very well. I was having to stop and clear my eyes out now and again. And it really just wasn't a very pleasurable ride at all. And I, I would strongly not recommend going down the no mud guard route, even if you don't like how they look. Just stick something simple on there. Uh, with just the front mud guard, obviously on the back end of things with no rear mud guard, uh, my ass end was covered in mud. Now that did add a lot more weight to the suit because that did obviously add a lot more mud and crap sticking to the back. On the front end, however, though, vision was still pretty fine. There was obviously the odd flick up here and there, but the full mud guard set up. Now I know this polarizes opinion left, right and center, but if you can get over how that thing looks, it made a huge difference. Now, not really to performance, maybe a little bit of comfort, you didn't have a wet butt so much, uh, but actually to the weight of the suit. This suit was the lightest of all three, as you would expect. Uh, it had less flying at it, less mud sticking to it, so it just made the suit a lot lighter. Now, when you think, if you go on a really long ride all day out in the wet weather, then that actually is gonna make a huge uh, difference and make your life a lot easier. So yeah, full mud guards, lightest suit, no mud guards, the heavier suit. I think we could have predicted that, but it's good to have it confirmed. But that's a wrap. I have got an absolute ton of cleaning to do after today's video, uh, but I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope I've convinced you that maybe even a front mud guard is very useful but that's it from me i will catch you next time happy riding stay safe and i'll see you later Whoa. Whoa. <laughs>